Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah halal family. Welcome to the channel, you beautiful people. Guys, today um, I had some kind of like a thought and I wanted to share with you guys. Usually I'm, I don't touch on these stuff as you guys know, but with this, I thought, you know what? There might be some probability. So here you guys have a seat, grab a cup of tea, some snacks, sit down, relax, and listen to what I have to say. All right. So scientists believe that like millions of years ago the earth and all the continents for example were actually uh one land mass so it was uh it's known as pangea so pangea for example is when um all the continents like i mentioned were basically Pangea, Pangea is basically like a supercontinent where all the land masses were in one uh, piece and uh, over time and generations and decades and, and millennials and whatnot, they started separating from each other. Uh, what are the scientists basing uh, this on? Is based on the fossils uh, of different animals that they have found over the years. Okay, so uh, what am I getting at talking to you about Pangea? Well... That's where it comes something interesting. I've been thinking over the years, for example, about Gog and Magog. And a lot of uh, scholars and scientists and whatnot have been looking and seeing, for example, where would be the gate of Gog and Magog. And that's where my thought comes in. And what I'm thinking is that Gog and Magog is actually located in Antarctica. Listen, listen, I know, I know. It sounds pretty crazy, but listen to what I have to say. Let's watch this video, which is titled Seven Untold Mysteries of Antarctica, and then we'll continue on. Yada, yada, yada. Come on, let's start. There we go. Antarctica is filled with countless mysteries. Some have been solved, but many are still beyond the reach of science. What kind of world exists beneath the That's thick the thing, we don't know. And how does a million-year-old ice cube from here take us on a time travel journey to our Earth's past? Welcome once again. Antarctica, also known as the bottom of the world or the south bottom world, of the world, has ice sheets recorded where the sun sets to some extent, we can say. This is a depth where five Burj Khalifa buildings could be stacked one on so top of the other. how deep it is. Buried within this ice are secrets from millions of years ago. First, let's learn about the life hidden beneath the ice. In it's 2022, researchers using satellite images noticed an unusual mark on the Larsen B ice shelf in Antarctica. They became suspicious when this crack-like mark only appeared in photos taken after 2021. Before that, no such mark existed. The ice is slowly falling apart crack, and melting. They started drilling with a hot water drill equipped with a camera. At a depth of about 500 meters, they had to stop because the camera recorded a bizarre scene under the ice of Antarctica. A secret river flowed through there the ice. There are living beings there, as in these creatures. So they're these fish and shrimp. Resembled shrimps which are often called prawns. There could be other beings living of off of those. But the question arises, Keep listening to me, guys. How did these amphipods end up 500 meters inside a remote ice shelf in Antarctica? And what do they eat to survive? Experts believe that in the ocean, shrimps feed on decomposed plants, indicating that at some point, plants must have existed in this secret river mm -hmm. in Antarctica. Mm -hmm which these creatures are living off. So there's Number fish, six, there could be other beings. The deepest point in the ocean known to date is the Challenger Deep. That's another thing. The second deepest is the Brownson Deep. But the third deepest point is the Factorial Deep, located in the southern ocean of Antarctica. Discovered in 2019, it just all recent, its depth 2019. is calculated to be 7,437 meters. The Factorial Deep was detected near Antarctica using sonar scanning where a ship equipped with a sonar scanner was navigated over the icy waters of the Southern Sea. The sonar scanning map of the seafloor has taken oh. 1,200 tests, but researchers still do not know how this point was formed 
and its connection to the surrounding See, sea it doesn't make sense Number that five, these are these depths or for example these mountains on a cruise line how did they start it spotted a huge jellyfish in the water the cruise operator deployed a submersible to show the passengers the jellyfish from underwater How big is this, this enormous jellyfish approximately 33, 33 feet long is called a giant phantom jellyfish however it's surprising that phantom jellyfish usually reside at depths of 3500 feet in the oceans but this one was seen on the surface of the antarctic sea Researchers are still not sure what such a large jellyfish was doing in this region, especially on the surface of the sea. Number four. Amidst the desolate icy valleys of Antarctica, researchers have found evidence of ancient rainforests you see, this buried was, under the ice, used to be a totally which are different million years area. old. This discovery right? is proof of people living there in Antarctica from long ago. Live and this plants and animals. This forest was found beneath the ice-covered seafloor with tree it's roots, hollow. pollen, and other remnants. So. Radiocarbon dating has linked them to the Cretaceous period, a time when the Earth's atmosphere had higher levels of carbon dioxide. I see, here that's which, where they show that the separation of the different of continents. When there were lush green valleys and colorful fields. In addition, the coal found here in 1909 is evidence that the rainforest in Antarctica existed for millions of years, which has now converted into fossil fuel. Number three, many meteorites have been found beneath the barren ice of Antarctica. These are not just ordinary stones, but evidence of a vast universe. Many of these meteorites are linked to our neighboring planet Mars. One of these meteorites, named ALH 84001, is the oldest object in our solar system, about 4.5 billion years old. This meteorite made headlines in 1996 when scientists announced that evidence of microfossils was found in the meteorite that came from Mars. This means that life existed on Mars when this meteorite broke That's off and landed here. Due to these claims, efforts to find life on Mars have intensified this meteorite allowed scientists to research Mars' atmosphere and volcanic activity. On Earth. It contains some minerals that are only found in water, proving that Mars once had a significant amount of flowing water. Number two, many of us often wonder how scientists can accurately determine the Earth's past atmosphere. This mystery lies in the ancient See, ice they keep showing that. Antarctica. Here, separation and coming together of the land if not millions of years preserving air bubbles from that time to reach them a complete core of ice is drilled out the deeper the core the further back in time it allows us to travel the air bubbles in each layer of ice preserve the atmospheric oh, no. conditions of each year these ancient air bubbles have remained undisturbed for thousands even millions of years by studying the different gases in these bubbles, scientists have succeeded in painting a picture of the Earth's ancient periods. This ice core, formed a million years ago, dates back to a time when the Earth's climate cycle changed every 40,000 years. Later, this cycle began to change every 100,000 which continues to 100,000. With the help of these ice cores, predicting the Earth's future climate has become easier such as predicting the frequency of storms and floods and when they will occur next. All these predictions are made using hot these and ice cold cores. Over Number time. One, in 1950, this is the most a massive mysterious. mountain range was discovered beneath Antarctica's ice sheets, known as the Gambertsiv mountain range, spanning 1,200 1, kilometers. kilometers. These mountains rise up to 3,000 meters. The surprising thing is that these mountains are quite different from other mountains Crazy, in yeah? the world. Normally, mountains in such regions should be very old, but their structure indicates that they are not that old. They're not Their old. presence several kilometers beneath the ice also perplexes scientists because mountains usually form due to the movement exactly. of tectonic plates. Exactly, the tectonic plates come no together. Such movement occurs in so how did that... This means these mountains those mountains came together. Magma boiling beneath the surface. But they don't know. However, scientists do not... Crazy, yeah? So this mountain range, 1,200 kilometers long, does not fit in the way to the other mountains 
are shaped, which is through a techno tectonic plates meeting together, pushing and creating a mountain. So what could it be, right? Antarctica is covered by ice. People are not allowed to go there. Spawn it's slowly melting, right? Which to some extent is kind of showing that that gate is slowly opening until one day that all that ice could go away on top of the barrier which was put together by Dr. Kornain. Uh, I'm just saying, what do you guys think? Do you agree? What are your thoughts? Tag your imams, your sheikhs, your brothers, your sisters, everybody, please. And let them watch this video. I'd love to know their thoughts and if what they, whether they agree with me or disagree. As always, guys, thank you very much for all your love and support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. In fact, inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and wassalam. My boss is standing here on top of me, guys. Please help me.